And Coast to Coast salutes the music and comedy of New York City. With stops at the famed bottom line for great performances from the fabulous first lady of rhythm and blues, Ruth Brown. Rock classics from one of rock's writing legends, Otis Blackwell. And a set from the very funny, very hot Marshall Warfield. Then Rhythms of Brazil meet the beat of New York at a very special jam session featuring Milton Nascimento, Paul Simon, Pat Nassini, Michael Brecker and friends. And finally, all over New York with jazz vocal sensation Bobby McFerrin. And now, here's your host for Coast to Coast, Herbie Hancock. Because people from everywhere call New York home, the city has a lot of music and thousands of places to go to listen to it. Some of them are above ground, like Carnegie Hall, Lincoln Center, and the Met. Some of them are right here in the subway stations. And one of them is New York's Bottom Line Club, what we call a true New York legend. One of the founders of modern rock and roll, the fabulous Ruth Brown. I'm going to tell you something I'm, sh I'm sh sure you may not know. You may know, you may not know. Stevie Wonder... Aretha Franklin and Bette Midler all have said one thing, that there's one female singer who's been the biggest influence on their singing. And that singer is the guest that we have tonight. And we're really privileged to present her in New York where she recorded all of her famous songs. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Ruth Brown. <laughs> Ruth Brown and friends. Every time it rains, I think of you. in my singing career, as did most Southern-born children in the church. But I think that basically the one person I got everything from must have been my father. He was uh, perhaps one of the greatest baritone voices untrained that I'd ever heard. And it was he who instilled this love for the music in me.
Well, I remember very well uh, that both races were not allowed to dance together to the music, even though they both enjoyed the music. We would play warehouses or county hall where white and black both came to the dances. And they were separated on the dance floor by something as insignificant as a clothesline. That is what separated the races. The clothesline would stretch the full length of the hall. And on the clothesline, there would be a piece of paper written probably in crayon. On one side said colored, and on the other side said white. But when the music got into everybody, which most times it did, the clothesline would without a doubt, come down, hit the floor, and people would dance on it. Nobody would notice it was gone until some police official or someone in authority would come and go up on stage and get on the microphone and say, we got to stop it. And they'd stop the dancing in order to reinstate the rope. I'm reminded about here of some of the great ladies of my time who came along with me and inspired me. Everybody has to start somewhere. And I started with royalty. I say that because if she were here today, she would stand up and say, nobody goes before the queen. Yeah. Miss Diana Washington. This bitter what fruit it bears. What good is love that no one shares? can be so cold day you're young we look around and we've grown old in the stage, they put two tobacco trucks together. And the great Buddy Johnson and his band sat in back of me. And he had a little sister called Ella Johnson. And she sang this song. And no singer was ever the same. You You 
made me leave my happy home. You took my love and now you're gone. Since I fell for you. Yes, I of 